Jason here, Blood Church, coming to you today. God bless each and every one of you today. Going to um, do a quick study around the idea of the, the division between the spirit um, <clears throat> and the flesh. And it's clear to me that um, when you become a Christian, you have two the two natures, which are separated. Let's read Colossians chapter 2 verse 11 to start. In whom also you are circumcised with a circumcision made without hands. So that's not a, you know, we think of circumcision, we think it's a surgery, it's a removal. But this is um, one made without hands, so it's spiritual. In nature, it's like a spiritual baptism for Christians. And putting off the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ. Um, so the circumcision of Christ is indeed spiritual. It's made without hands. It's um, it's your spiritual body. Essentially, you you get filled with the Holy Spirit, and your spirit is now separate. And there's a division between your flesh and then your 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 spirit. Now the question always becomes: uh, first of all, there's a lot of misunderstanding between. A Christian having these two different states. That's why you see these, these cult beliefs or these, these uh, uh, false beliefs that you know you must see a Christian not sin because they're now filled with the Holy Spirit. No, your flesh is very much so capable of doing some very horrible things. Um, if we go to First Corinthians chapter five, we see incest in the church at Corinth. It starts at verse 1, and, and we'll read verse 4, though. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, when you are gathered together in my spirit with the power of the Lord Jesus Christ. 1, verse 5, excuse me, to deliver such and one unto Satan for the destruction of the flesh, that the spirit may be saved in the day of the Lord Jesus. So the spirit here has nothing to do with the salvations of the man's soul. Um, you know, first the word soul and spirit are really not the same word. Um, and the word saved does not mean always mean saved from hell. The word spirit um, here is not used in the sense of that part of a man's uh, you know, nature. It's a Christian's actual spirit is saved when he trusts Christ because he becomes one spirit with the Lord. And that's what it means to be, you know, born again. Or saved until the rapture. Amen. So here in this case, his body, his fleshly body, was given to Satan so that the spirit may be saved. Amen to that. So here shows an example of a Christian who had the Holy Spirit, who committed one of the worst, worst heinous sins, incest, um, in the Bible with his father's wife, which is disgusting. And um, in order to save his soul, his spirit, they sent him to the devil to be destroyed. So again, demon possession, in my opinion. Um, he was ripped apart by Satan and his minions. As it says in 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. Let's turn there. <clears throat> Still a little sick, guys. I apologize if I don't sound the best here. Well, Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. So you got to remember, Satan hates us because we're down here. Um... God replaced us as in charge of the earth. Of course, Satan took it back, but but um, you know he his devices in this world are to 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 kill, uh, destroy man, especially Christians and Jewish uh, individuals. And in these last days, we you know we need to be aware of the municipalities, the powers, the spirits of the air, the dark forces working against us, and the fact that you 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 certainly can. Uh, in your fleshly sin, become possessed and open your head, your mind, your body up to possession. Although your spirit's completely saved. Remember the two different natures that we talked about. Um, and it, you know, I, a lot of people disagree. They don't understand. Well, how can if you feel the Holy Spirit? How can you know something evil possess you? Well, there, again, it goes back to two natures. Your flesh is separate from your spirit. Your flesh can be used by the devil can be you can use you to do evil things your flesh and destroy your your testimony your destroy your life destroy you know your body he can use you to do bad things even though your spirit is saved and again when a christian does not realize we're we're at spiritual warfare and there's a battle raging between good and evil 
you don't pray, you don't you don't have a prayer life, you don't read the Bible, you don't belong to a Bible believing church. You don't you open yourself up and um, to these demonic entities. Anyway, God bless. I pray for each and every one of you in these final days uh, to be clean and to and to connect with the Lord and repent of any sins you have, not for salvation, but for rather to, um, you know, avoid these powers and municipalities that might come against you. God bless. Have a great day.